not. Who's there? Stopwatch. Stopwatch who? Stop what you're doing and pay attention. Nice. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Etch. Etch who? Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh just in case. And tissues too. Well, thank you very much. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mustache. Mustache who? Mustache you a question, but I'll shave it for later. Nice. Mm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Spell. Spell who? W-H-O. Ah, oh, I get it now. And speaking of that, as she spelled who, I hope you guys are doing your homework and most of all, learning your Awana verses. Even though we can't meet on Wednesday night again this week, we can still meet via the internet. We're not sure how much longer this is going to last, but until then, we'll do this, we'll continue to make videos. But I know that I personally, and Miss Colette, it would love to be together with you instead of having to do videos. But this is the next best thing. So, until we can meet, we're going to continue to do this. And even though we're not meeting on Wednesday night, just know that we still care about you. We still love you. And most of all, God still loves you. And we miss seeing you guys. Mr. Tim and I both have noticed a lot of the children in our neighborhood are out riding their bikes and skateboards and are enjoying the time outside. But we also know that spending so much time away from your classmates and your friends and even your extended family yeah. can be a little dis disappointing or sad or even... Maybe a little fearful at times. Most definitely. We have a story for you today about a time that David was so fear of his life that he yelled at God. Did you know David? David, David yelled at God. Yes, he was. Man, I would, I would, I would be afraid to yell at God. God wants you to talk to him, even if you're yelling. Even if you're upset with God. Even if you're upset, he can take it. You know, there's been times I've been a little bit upset with God. He didn't do what I wanted him to do. Well, and you know, you just have to understand if you yell at him, it doesn't mean he's going to do it, but he wants to know that you're upset so he can comfort you. Yes. So we have a um, lesson in the, past, in the past couple of weeks in Kid City about David. And what yeah, kind we of things just, were you learning? We went through the whole life of David from when David, uh, whenever God anointed David to become king, all the way through his life to when he became king. And if I remember right... It said David was a man after God's own heart. Even though David was a man after God's own heart, he still got scared. There was a time when he was running in fear of his life and he was hiding in a cave. That doesn't sound very brave, does it? No, hiding doesn't sound brave at all. Nope, and you know what was in the cave with him? All of his fears and all of his anxieties and all of his troubles, they were right there with him. So he was stuck in a cave with being scared and they were all in there with him? Yeah, they were. So because of that time in David's life, he wrote Psalm 13. And I'm gonna read that for you. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, O oh Lord my God, give me light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. My enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fail. But I trust in you. I entrust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord. For he has been good to me. So even though David was upset with God, God was still faithful and was still good to David? And David recognized that. And so he may have started out that psalm angry and frustrated and scared, but he ended up praising God and being thankful for what God has provided him. And do you know how you can have that same comfort? I bet it has something to do with your Awana verses. Yes, very good. I would say that if you continue to learn your Awana verses so that you not only can read them in the Bible and read them in your Awana book, but you'll have them in your heart from now until whenever. So if you get them in your heart, you will never forget them. So just remember, no matter what's going on with the coronavirus that we've been hearing so much about and keeping us from school and keeping us from church and from friends, just remember, God is in control 
and God is always faithful, and God always loves us. And not only does God love you, we love you too, and we miss you. So, see you next week. Bye.